All right, so it is 8.46 in the morning, and I'm going to do a quick video game vlog, and I'll get with you little leaders in a bit. I have not forgotten about you. I have stuff I have to talk about today, but first, I want to talk about the love that was Netflix Castlevania. Oh my God. It was so good. It was really, really good. I don't know if Konami sank. They must have had to. Konami had to have sanctioned that. Why they don't sanction like a Metal Gear one, a Silent Hill one? I don't know. They need to get up on that because the Castlevania was rocking. Oh, it was rocking. I mean, when it came on, I was like, oh my god, I, I they got me. I've been got. I got got. So it was good. Then it, the first episode, and this is going to be very spoiler heavy, and if you really don't want to know, go watch the Netflix joint, because it's up on Netflix right now. So, um, but the first episode mainly revolved around um, why Dracula went off the deep end and wanted to kill everybody. And they talked about Lisa, and they had Lisa so cool. Because, like, anytime I've ever seen pictures of Lisa, Lisa, Dracula's wife, Lisa... Lisa Tepes, I guess her name is. Um, she's always like, oh, like, oh, holy looking and whatever. And like that woman who was Lisa in in the in the Netflix one, she was like, I don't, I don't believe in superstition. I'm gonna help people. I believe in science and not all that dumb shit. So Dracula was automatically attracted to her, and like she was real cool, and I could see why he was attracted to her. So like. They go on ahead and, like, have a relationship, but they don't focus on any of that. The next time you see her, they're burning her at the stake as a witch, talking about, well, she had all this stuff in her house, and she's in league with Satan, and she's doing the thing that they said in, um, in Symphony of the Night, where she's, like, telling Alucard, like, or don't hate them, they don't know what they're doing, they're just human, they're scared, la di da and then the priest dude is all like, well, she's calling out to Satan and bleh. So, Dracula's coming back from a trip after that goes down. And he's like, what happened to my wife? And this lady's like, I wouldn't stand for people, like, for them calling her a witch. Because she was really trying to help people. And I'm sad that they killed her. So, he starts crying blood. It was like, it's, it's, it's going down, y'all. So... They're burning more people at the stake because I guess it's something, some shit to do. Because it is 14. So, um, they're burning this dude at the stake. They're like, oh, good, we're doing God's work and yay. And then Dracula comes out of the flames like, y'all killed my wife. You have a year to get your shit together. Get your shit together because in a year it's going to be on. They don't listen. They're like, oh, that's just Dracula. He's just talking trash and live. So, Dracula comes up a year later. They're like, that's when they were sitting there. Oh, Dracula was lying. And he, like, bleh. In fact, they didn't call him Dracula. They were calling him Satan. Satan's not going. He's lying. That's what Satan does. He just be lying to folks. And then it starts raining blood. And then all this death literally rains down from the sky. And he was like, I, he's telling the Archbishop, I told y'all in a year it was going to be on. And y'all wasn't listening. So now you're going to die a horrible, scary, horrifying, blood-soaked death. So he goes off and kills everybody. And it was it's horrific and it was amazing. And it was just like, oh, my God. So that's the first episode. It's just amazingness personified. But at the end of the first episode, they do talk about Trevor. Like, they, they don't introduce him. They just, it's some dudes at a tavern talking trash. And then that's the next episode where Trevor comes in he gets beat up by them dudes talking trash, but he's just like kind of a drunk and sad because his family's been exiled and excommunicated from the church and he's just like drunk and sad and just, just it's kind of like a wanderer. So he comes to this village or town or something and they're all like, we have to kill the seer, not the seers, the sayers. And um, they're like, they're kind of like, 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 psychic people who pass down oral history they're kind of i don't want to say gypsies because that's like a real group of people but they're nomadic so um and they pass down their history orally and don't write their history down so 
he gets tangled up with them and he tries to save it because they're the um the one religious dude who caused lisa to die <coughs> excuse me i'm getting choked up who caused lisa to die and was like saying she was like a witch and all this <coughs> He escapes the town that Dracula destroyed first and goes to this other town. And he is still killing folks. And then he's trying to say that those those speaker people are evil. And that's the reason why Dracula is going around killing folks. When really it was him having killed Lisa is the reason why Dracula is running around killing people. So, um, the seers are like living sad. They're trying to like help the community that they're in and they won't leave. And then one of the dudes is the one seer dude, his grandchild is, is looking for the legendary sleeping soldier who is supposed to save the town and stuff or in the world too. But you don't find that out till later. So, um, he's like, well, they're going to kill you people. And if y'all don't leave, y'all need to leave by sundown because they're going to kill you if you don't leave. This is Trevor talking. And they're like, well, we can't really leave because we got to help people. And I at least want to get my grandchild back, the one old dude. So Trevor's like, look, if I bring the body of your missing, possibly dead grandchild back, will you please get the hell out of this town before some shit goes down? And they're like, okay, we're leaving. Live. So he finds the grandchild Venturna Stone and we all know who this is and um there's like this this stone cyclops which is directly from their third game or I have to talk about their third game in a bit but um it's directly from that's a boss fight in the third game so he kills this this the stone cyclops by like stabbing it in the head with like his sword and like the 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 um the grandchild, which is a girl, which is Cypher, my hero. I love me some Cypher. Um, that's how he meets Cypher, and that's actually how he meets her in the third game too. So um, basically, he's. I love that the fact that they automatically right out the gate say, I because Trevor makes the statement, I can't stand that seers dress their 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 um women as boys. And Saifa is like, it's safer if we're going to be nomadic. It's safer that way. That way, I guess nobody messes with them because they think they're all men. So that's why Saifa looks like a boy. And I love that explanation because in the original game, Saifa's just hooded and like all you see is like bangs coming out. So, and then at the end when um, Trevor and Saifa defeat Dracula, the hood blows off and all this long, beautiful blonde hair flows out and then she like leans on Trevor. I've always loved that. And then I was like, oh my God. Actually, when I was a kid, because I was a kid when they came out, I actually wanted to write a story about that. My very first dabbling in foray in fan fiction, but I didn't know, one, you could do something like that. And two, I was like a little kid. I don't know how to write well. So, but I remember thinking of a story about that. And I remember thinking of a story about Alucard and his life with his mother and Dracula. That was when I was like nine or 10 or 10 or 11. I was like, I was like a preteen. So it was a long ass time ago, but yes, I've been... I've been geeking out for years. So, that's how he meets Saifa, and that's how they, they, and, and she can't stand Trevor, because Trevor is kind of an asshole, but he's still kind of cool, so I don't even know. So, like, they save her, the, see, the seeker, talker, whatever them people were, won't leave, because they know that, like, it's, it's about to go, it's about to be popping, because... <laughs> It's like you got a hero and like another hero and they just got to find the other hero. So they know the secret history of the world because they can see into the future. But Trevor and them don't know it yet. So I don't even know. So Trevor's like, y'all need to get out the fuck out of town because it's about to be popping and y'all about to die. If y'all don't leave, they, uh, the villagers won't come and kill you. So the priest dude who started all of this nonsense He's waiting to hear word that these, like, they're not even really priests. They're just hoodlums, basically, going around killing people in, in God's name and stuff, like people do. And um, 
basically he's sitting in the church like, oh, them, them, them psychic people, are they dead yet? And then this monster comes in and like, oh no, they're not dead. But like, you are pretty much. So they eat that dude. He needed to be eaten, by the way, because he was a, a hot damn mess. So they ate him and that's the end of his story. And it needed to end there because dude was fucked up. Because he really did, he really... He truly believed that killing that woman, Lisa, was going to help stuff. And that did not help. That made, that made probably a situation that wasn't a situation, an actual situation. So, there was that. And after they ate him, basically Trevor tells the villagers how to fight the monsters that are coming. Because the monsters always come at night to kill everybody that's alive. Because Dracula is pissed off that y'all burned his wife at the stake. So, and he was, and Dragula's end goal is just to kill everybody, because they, they ruined his life, and his life is ruined, and now he wants to ruin everybody else's life. So, um, basically, they're still trying to find that third hero, and they finally find him, and that's when Alucard gets in the mix, and they're in the fight between Alucard and Trevor. This is where I get real fangirly. It's so unbelievably hot it's just it's just drenched in just like oh fangirl sexiness because i love both trevor and alucard so it was just drenched in like fangirl adrian screaming juices so i was like oh my god this fight is so hot i can't i can't watch this this is just way too hot so they fight they're like, finally, Alucard's like, well, I'm going to be with you and blah. And they fight and some stuff happens. And then he's like, well, I'm going to be with you. And Cypher, you knew that we were all going to be the heroes to save the world. And she's like, well, kind of. So, and that's where it ends. What the fuck we doing, Netflix? You don't, you don't build up and be like, oh, Castlevania's coming on. And it's going to look hot. And like, put all these hot ass clips up. Just to be giving me four episodes. Four episodes? Really? Netflix? Really? Four episodes? <sighs> Don't play with me like that. I had my body set to be in this bed from the time I threw my husband out to go to work. I was like, you need to leave because I'm trying to watch Castlevania. And I literally told him this. Like, you need to get out because I'm trying to watch Castlevania. I had my body set for ten episodes. At least, at a minimum, ten episodes. Y'all gonna come in here with four. Now, I understand. It's not that I'm I'm not sympathetic. That I know animation takes a little bit longer to do. You can't just... It's not like you're getting actors and stuff. And that's a little bit easier to put together than an animated foray. But come on now. You wanna have it set up that I'm gonna be watching. I'm like ready for ten. Ten episodes. I was ready. Uh, now, y'all give me four. And then you stop it when it's getting juicy. Come on now, Netflix. You know better than that. So that was where I was not happy. The storyline, the plot, the voice acting, all of that I am satisfied with. I actually kind of like it that they, they, because the canon to Castlevania got real fucked up. And it got messed up because of Kojima. And this is one of the reasons I'm, like, really not happy with Kojima these days. Because he had it that the Belmonts were Dracula. And I think I know where he pulled that up from. That stems from something way, way back that um, Sonya Belmont, who was supposed to be before Leon Belmont in um, Lament of Innocence, um... Before, it was supposed to be Sonya Belmont was the originator of the Belmont clan. And she had supposedly had had an affair with um, Alucard because she and Alucard linked up to try to help fight Dracula. But he felt bad about basically committing patricide. So they slept together at some point and she, at the end of her game, which was I think a, a Nintendo color game it was like an old handheld nintendo like way before ds it wasn't even nintendo it was game boy color um i think it was a i don't even think it was game boy color i think it was just a game boy game she slept with alucard and at the end of her game she's holding a baby and it is assumed that trevor 
that that baby that she's holding is Trevor. Or they say it, I don't remember. But I think that's where he was trying to pull that from. That that's why, like, but I think even in um the Koji Ma game that got all fucked, the cannon all fucked over, um, they were priests. The Belmont was the the Gabriel Belmont was a priest, and he something some shit happened because I never finished the game. I can't even get off the first damn level, um, because I it's a fucking quick time event and I can't work it. But um, and my brother told me there's more of that shit going on. I'm just like, man, fuck that game. But um. <laughs> Some, I think he turned his back on God because some shit happened and that's how he turned into Dracula. Because I remember the last Castlevania that came out. It was, Kojima didn't do it. Some other people did it and it pretty much boiled down to Dracula versus Satan. And I was just so angry. <laughs> angry. Even thinking about it, my face is getting hot. I was so angry at that because that is not what Castlevania is about. It's about... Fighting Dracula, fighting Dracula's minions, and watching Castlevania blow up at the end. That is what Castlevania is, was, and always will be. Not Dracula versus Satan. So, I don't know. But that was high. And I think that's where they were getting, they were pulling a lot of that ridiculousness from. But they they cleaned up a lot. Like, the Cypher thing got cleaned up. I enjoyed the fact that they, they, they had, um... Trevor kind of down and out and excommunicated because that's really what happened to the Belmont family. So it was looking hot. It's only four episodes. I did not intend to be done with Castlevania at four at nine o'clock. I was, like I said, my body was set for ten episodes. Set. I was like, I'm gonna be in this bed till I watch every episode and it's gonna be great. No, no, no. Four episodes and then they just, they just. Left me hanging. They left me hanging. It's, it's, it's like somebody pulled my clothes off in the middle of public and that's how they left me hanging. So, it's good. It's just frustrating because I wanted more. And I'm, I don't even know when I'm, if and when I'm getting more. So, y'all need to rate. I put on my Twitter, come on now, Netflix. You need to get this shit together because <laughs> y'all can't just leave something hanging out there when I'm like wanting juiciness. And I had juiciness. It was right in the hand. And they were like, nope, no more juiciness for you, bitch. You got to go do something else. And I'm not ready to do nothing else. Hence why I'm sitting here doing this. So, <sighs> that is all I have. Go watch Castlevania on Netflix because it is good. I'm still in my pajamas. So, you know, I was, I'm not happy that I got to get dressed and ready for life. Because I was ready for 10 episodes. But go watch it because it is good. Just, it's, it's not even an anime, and it's just anime level of good. So, I don't know. I want, I want a Metal Gear one now. I want a Silent Hill one now. I want an Evil Within one, too. Fuck Resident Evil. Resident Evil got them, them, them fucking whatever the fuck they got. But Metal Gear, Silent Hill, and I know it's not Konami, but I want an Evil Within one, too. So, that's what I'm, I'm requesting. I'm putting my request in now, so... Get on it, Netflix, and I wait. I really want more Castlevania. I need more in my life. So that's all I have, and I will see y'all when I do my Lolita vlog, <laughs> and I'll later on today. So until then, later.